Hello everyone, welcome to the Cinemill Garage, and we are here with our full line of vehicle rigging products. But specifically right now, we're gonna be talking about our suction cups. And in this case, we're actually talking about the six by three rectangular suction cup. So let's jump right into our Cinemilled 6x3 rectangular suction cup. So the basis of all our suction cups are Woods Power Grip suction cup bases and plungers. And they're made in the USA. It's the highest quality uh, suction cup you can get. Uh, we didn't go cheap. We didn't go to China. We went to the original makers of these products. And we're very proud of that. And that delivers the best a uh, quality suction cup you can get that's a non-active suction cup and so that is the basis of our system and it measures six by three like i mentioned and so we have our cinnamon cheese plate that is attached to the top here and on the cinnamon cheese plate as usual we maintain a one inch on center spacing and we have essentially all threaded uh, three eight sixteen threads and a quarter twenty threads down uh, the center as well and so here we have our baby pin. We can thread it into the center. And then that gives us a place to grab and continue our rigging. Um, <clears throat> we, did this, we did make it uh, fairly thick so that you can thread into screws without uh, hitting the, the plunger unit itself. So that's a, rice, a nice feature. Um, so it's a very thick uh, cheese plate that uh, you can bite into. And so just to get into a quick example of why you would need a rectangular shape, let's, uh, let's, let me show you right here. So as you can see here, let's say we were rigging a camera somewhere in this vicinity. Um, we need to find a place to attach the uh, suction cup to. And obviously even we have here our four and a half inch round suction cup. This, you, I don't know if you, the camera can pick it up, but there's a crease in the bodywork right here. And the four and a half inch suction cup will not attach. It's just too much. There's a sharp crease right there, actually. So even though the four and a half inch suction cup is a small diameter, it's still not small enough in this situation. And so this is where the rectangular six by three works so great. So because the crease is right there, we can go right above the crease and just apply a little bit of a downwards pressure and just keep pumping until you see the red line disappear. As always with all of the Woods Power Grip products, that is, uh, that is the rule. And you know, it is possible that after 20 minutes or so, some of the air pressure leaks out. I mean, it's rubber, uh, you know, things can happen the vibration of when the cars is actually operating. The rule of thumb is anytime you're not shooting or before you hit, you roll the camera, I always have a grip or an assistant, uh, give all the suction cups a couple of quick pumps to make sure they're always applying as much pressure as possible. But as you can see here, we got a very strong, you can see we're bending the sheet metal of the car, right? We got a very strong uh, attachment to the bodywork of the vehicle. Um, even though there's a crease line right here, we can, since it's a rectangular shape, we can turn it sideways. We can find the little area in which it works. And that's basically why you would use a rectangular shaped suction cup. The first step is figuring out our, one of our main mounts. And it's clear to me that I'm going to use this surface as a rigging, uh, a main weight carrying surface. Now it is smooth enough, luckily, uh, to, to be to work with the suction cup, um, but it is a little bit curved and it is very narrow. And so we can't use any of our round suction cups that we have, either the, the four and a half or the six inch. And so this is the perfect situation why we make the three by six rectangular suction cup. And so this is perfect application you know, where, whenever you can't get the, the round suction cups in, you can use the rectangular ones. And so step one, we're just going to 
press in like we do and you're going to pump in until the red line is no longer showing. I hope you enjoyed that detailed look and got a much better insight in all the different ways you can use our vehicle rigging products. You know, they're all, they all have lots of different ways they interact with each other and different, you know, we try to make them smart and a little bit smarter than all the other things out there. Um, as you can see here, we're fully rigged up and ready to go shoot on the racetrack. You know, part of the reason why I look to come up with better versions of things I'm using is because I'm out there shooting and I cannot wait to get this car out there on the racetrack, get our action arm mounted up on the, on the Cinemill truck and go chase this down and get some cool footage. And, you know, as you can see here, we use the six inch suction cup, the four and a half, the 10 inch, you know, both of the Houdini uh, speed rail clamps and uh, you know, and we're even working on a lot of other things to completely cover all the bases when it comes to rigging cameras on a vehicle, rigging gimbals onto vehicles and you know, you name it. We got the isolation mount coming out. We got the action arm, you know, so it's not just vehicle rigging. We got a couple of really cool mounts on the way as well. So, you know, if, you want to see more, of course, follow or like, comment, subscribe, click on the little bell icon to get notified when we have new videos coming up on our YouTube channel. Um, you know, absolutely check us out and like us on Facebook. There's a couple of groups that we uh, were participate in and we administer uh, on Facebook. One of them is the Vehicle Rigging and Camera Car Group. And it's a very big group, lots of grips in there. And if you buy some of our products and you start to do your own rig on, 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 your, on your vehicle or on your client's vehicle, you know, take pictures, post on there, share. People will give you tips like, oh, you should probably run that extra tube. You should brace it like this. You did a good job, all that sort of stuff. You can search through and see all the different rigs other people are doing. So that Facebook group is really great. And, you know, of course, we got the Cinemilled user group. So if you have specific questions about our products, you know, everybody on there are Cinemilled customers and they can help you out. They've probably encountered the same problem or challenge that you're facing. But yeah, so I'm really excited to get this thing going and I hope you are too. I hope you're getting ready to, you know, fill your shopping cart full of these clamps and all of our suction cups because as you can see, it takes multiple, you know, you need more, a couple of each at least. And you know, when it comes to the speed rail clamps, you need quite a few. But you know, it's, you're gonna buy this once in your career and you're gonna be, you know, this stuff doesn't wear out. So you're gonna be using these for the next 20, 30 years uh, until you don't wanna see cameras in front of you anymore. So, all right guys, thanks for watching this video and uh, for following us and I'll see you on set.